Genesis chapter 2 and notice verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul or a living being. God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. I want to talk today from the subject of divine CPR. Divine CPR. Because there are many situations and circumstances in life that will really take your breath away. And you can call certain things as taking your breath away as a wonderful example of some things when something takes your breath away that can be an awe-inspiring moment then there are other things that take your breath away because you're in shock and the pain of what happens to you has knocked the wind out of you and it has taken your breath in that way and that's what we are trying to address because there are some things that you can go through in this life and life will knock the wind out of you. I, I, I think when I was playing football back in the day, and uh, it didn't take but one time for me to have the wind knocked out of me. I, I didn't even know that could happen. And uh, it, I, I don't know what happens in, in a situation like uh, having the wind. I guess you get hit so hard that you can only get a little bit of air in, but it seems like the air that you get in, you can't get it back out. And it seems to be something that actually takes your breath away. Well, you'll have some things, you know, that will hit you from a blind side because if you could see it coming, guess what we do? We get out of the way. But there are some things that come so fast and so hard that you can't see them coming and they will hit you and they actually knock your breath out. They will literally take your breath. And what do you do when you are laid out sprawled out on the ground trying to get your breath back. How do we regain our breath? We need somebody then to come and to administer to us divine CPR. Now you know that CPR from a natural standpoint is cardiopulmonary resuscitation where they are manipulating the heart and the lungs manipulation it has to do with manual using the hands and there they are they're pumping on you and sometimes break ribs in the process but in divine CPR you don't get any of your ribs broken thank God for that but there are things that can happen to you you can be in a bad marriage and be so fed up because you were hurt in the process of the divorce that the wind has been knocked out of you and it's like I never ever want to do that again. You can be in a relationship with somebody, in a business partnership with somebody and you can be with an unscrupulous person who lacks character and certain things you can lose and it'll make you where I never want to deal with other people again. If I can't do it by myself, I don't want to do it because the wind has been knocked out of you. What do you do when you've had the wind knocked out of you and you need divine CPR? And I'm going to give you my version of what divine CPR is all about because we need new breath then to be put in us so that we can live. 